Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's back nine of the Marion Club. Let's see what the game's got. When you have your stats really high, the screen is pretty easy to drive in one. But uh, since I only got a 202 drive, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play for two shots as I've been doing all the power fours so far. And let's see how close I can get here. Uh, just plop it over there and use the wind to my advantage. And hope that the lie does not mess me up too badly. <laughs> one inch for one stroke. Well, actually, it's 1.9 feet, but <laughs> that's the game of golf in a nutshell. <laughs> Just even the littlest things, if you're not in the hole, count as one more stroke. <laughs> but you don't really expect to get in the hole from that distance, in all honesty. That was just one of those things of, oh my god, I'm so close, I hope it goes in. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Par 5, not gonna make this one in two, unfortunately, so let's play this one safe. I want to land my ball somewhere around here, preferably. Maybe I'll put it back a little bit further. The reason why is because I want to have a straight angle to the green so that I'm not aiming to land over a bunker or rough or something like that. It's basically smart golf. It's course management, whatever you want to call it. And that is my sort of strategy. And I put a little bit of backspin on the ball. As you see, I held down on the control pad there to see if I can get closer. Eh, that's not, not bad. I kind of misjudged the, the distance on the power gauge. But I think I'll be able to get this putt in. I just notched it all over a little bit to the left of it. Oh, jeez! Hit the back of the hole, but I made it in. <laughs> I will most certainly take that. Um, 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 mm, um, uh, how about here? That looks good for my character's height. Uh, yeah, the ball height of your character pretty much dictates how... Well, I should say the ball height and the distance your character hits pretty much dictates how much the wind will whip your ball around in the air. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind as you level up your character's stats so that you don't overdo something that'll make you uncomfortable to shoot, basically. And I'm I'm kind of dominating this course now, <laughs> now that I've got the hang of the the timing and my character and whatnot of the yeah, end. Oh no, shoot, I messed up the power shot. No, but it's okay, it'll still be in the fairway. I just wanted to get closer to the green here because this is a relatively long par four here, uh, at least for this character. So yeah, I just want to use a lower lofted club. Because see, I mean, I'm still using a four iron, so I'm still gonna have to run it over to the hole. Uh, but it's still the thing of it. You want to get relatively close to the hole if you can to use the lowest lofted club you can use for easier shots. <laughs> By the way, the green sure look like that uh, NES Open Tournament golf, doesn't it? You know, the way that they're demonstrating how the greens break and whatnot. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's where they got this from. Because that NES Open Tournament golf is basically a uh, older Mario golf, I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, it's less Mario golfy as it is just having Mario in it. Although, you don't really see all that many Mario characters in this Mario Golf game for a good while. Uh, oh, geez, this is a really, really long par 4. And I don't have a good line. I need to get close to the pin. I'm trying to put backspin on the ball, but it's probably not going to work. And that's not bad. Mm, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no other choice. I made my shot. Uh, I'm gonna aim it a little bit to the left of the hole. I mean, right of the hole, excuse me, because the break. And hit it about there, because I'm in the fringe. Ow! Oh! oh. <laughs> and. Par. <sighs> I'm so used to getting birdies. This is just. It's disappointing. <laughs> In Mario Golf, really, um, it's birdie or nothing, because chances are if you don't birdie a hole against a really good player, you're going to lose ground. I mean, it's really difficult to birdie every hole, so 
if you're playing a really good player, chances are they won't be able to birdie every hole themselves, but they're gonna get a pretty good score, so yeah. Be on the lookout for ways to get birdies any way that you possibly can. Uh, in real golf, you'd be aiming for probably not so much birdies as just getting pars on holes and just hoping for birdies as you go, because real golf is much, much harder to be precise. But, yeah, this is video game golf here, so birdie, 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 birdie! <laughs> Basically. Whenever you're playing fantasy golf, you want to get those birdies. As many as you possibly can. And I am just a smidge to the right of the hole, because the win, and hopefully this will make it on with the loft I cut off it! Oh, I mean, the distance I cut off it. Alright, let's see if I can chip this in here. I'm just gonna put a little bit to the right, and oops, uh, see where I'm aiming here. That might be good, uh, I don't know, it seems a little left, I mean, it seems a little right of target. Uh, that looks good. I'm gonna switch over to a 3-iron and see if I can chip this in. Uh, this is looking good! <laughs> yeah, I like trying to chip the ball in around the green like that, and I can do it fairly often, too. So your chances are you're gonna be seeing some chip-ins when I bump and run like that with, uh, lower lofted clubs. Uh, somewhere around here. Oh, oh I should've checked the, uh... Uh, should have checked the green, you know, before I hit my shot with the select button. Uh, you can cancel your swing by pressing the B button, but not after you hit the first notch. Like, after you hit, determine the power of your shot, you can't cancel it with the B button after that. You can also cancel it by just not touching anything. Uh, I probably should switch to a, yeah, a little bit stronger putting here, because it's uphill. And hope it goes in! Oh, another par! Another par! What? What is this? Amateur hour? <laughs> so I'm shooting 12 under par through 17 holes. I'm pretty sure I've got this tournament won, but... You know, there's, there's a chance I might dunk it in the water. There's a chance I might mess up around the green, but I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got this one in the bag. Boop, and bloop, wah. Let's see here, is it gonna land? Is it gonna land good? Of course it is. The fairways are pretty wide. It's pretty hard to miss the fairways. <laughs> I'm gonna aim like, I guess, maybe there and cut off a little bit of power. I'm aiming over here because the brake is gonna push it towards the hole. And also, I'm going to cut off a little bit of power on my shot by pressing down on the D-pad during my shot. Put backspin. Yeah, I like putting backspin on the shots quite a bit. Yeah! <laughs> I was not expecting that, but I'll take it! 14 under par for a round of 18 holes. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> and you get experience points based on beating the tournament, based on your score, the better you do, basically, the more experience points you'll get. I'm just gonna click through this here really quick. I got 148 for that round, and I got four level ups here. So let's see here what I'd like to do. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of my shots draw so I can get it straight, and then I will increase my drive up to 207. There we go. See, the rest of the stats are pretty pretty self-explanatory. The meat area and control is a pretty handy stat to have, but it's not really ne that necessary early in the game because the courses are easy. Um, but the meat area and control uh, basically gives you more forgiveness on miss hits. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely something nice to have. Oh, yeah! Victory goes to me! And that was sure anticlimactic, really. Because <laughs> here we are! So you won Marion's Club Tournament, eh, kid? Great! But don't stop there. Keep your eyes on the prize. I most certainly will. So, I think, though, I am going to check out... Could you move, please? 
You'll gain one level of 40 more points, kid. Could it? Why? Why are you here? You shouldn't be blocking my way. Is this an emulator glitch? Hold on a sec. <laughs> this is weird. Please tell me I can get through. Okay, I can get through. All right, for the next place that I'm going to go over to is over to the driving range here and get some more experience under my belt. See, at least, what do, you, what do I mean by that? Well, if you go over to here, you're going to see in the stars, look at this, shot lesson one, two, approach lesson one, two, and putting contest. See, there's side games that you can do over at the clubs, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm practicing driver tee shots. Want to see? Sure. The more strategic the course, the sharper your aim should be on the tee shot. Even if the fairway seems open, you have to know your targets. Thinking in real terms, my second shot should lay in here, but if I want to use it to taste the tailwind, I should hit high. First, choose the club, and a four or five power hole, one wood should be fine for me. Or driver. I gain distance with the power shot, so I'll use that. Okay. Enjoy your extra power. And put that sucker right in the fairway. I Pretty hard to miss the fairway, really. <laughs> so, okay, and then he's gonna ask if I wanna do it. This is real practice. Wanna try? Sure. Get the idea of experience now? Yeah, it's basically uh, practical knowledge of the game here. You know, it's putting it into practice. You know, that's the whole experience of golf, which is why you're able to get better shots via upgrading your stats. And there we go! Pretty simple. Got it? Good! Right in the fairway, and I'll get experience points for that. Wow! A perfect power shot! You're talented! Woo! No level up, though. <laughs> you know what you need for a good shot? Uh, we'll say no for kicks. Distance isn't enough for a good shot. A plan of attack for each hole and good shots are key. Yep, managing the course. I'll say yes this time. You have to adjust your aim according to the ball's lie. I was forgetting to do that early on while I was chatting it up. I was doing iron shots. Watch me practice? Sure! One iron, two iron, and wedges I use based on their distances. Irons, you actually don't have a one iron in this game. Iron with, irons with loft are easily affected by wind, so club selection is important. Watch, I'm aiming for the green. Not all power is enough for accurate iron shots. Next, select a club. In the tailwind, I use one club, Lord Normal. So, she's gonna be hitting two iron. Just watch the stats, basically, and you'll be able to know about how you want to hit your ball. And on this one, it's actually a little bit harder than the uh, driving one that we just did, because we actually gotta get fairly close to the hole this time. So, yeah, we actually gotta do a decent approach shot here. First, use the club and consider the win. Yep, yeah, normal's fine, I suppose. And let's see here. I think I'm gonna take it down a notch. Well, maybe not. Uh, maybe what I'll do is hit it there, but one notch less. Oh, that's two notches less. <laughs> that's not gonna be good. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the experience points for that. <laughs> you couldn't even see my ball with that. Uh, yeah, let's do it one more time here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try this one more time here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll do it at full power this time, actually. And cut it, cut off the power by pressing down on the D-pad. Let's try it that way. Oh, that's a shot! <laughs> why didn't I try that first? Like, why did I try to copy her? I don't know. <laughs> Just play my own game, dang it. You have an amazing sense for distance and direction. Yeah! And this time, I think I'm going to increase my meat area and control, just to make things a little bit easier on myself, uh, in case I've missed it. Even though I said it's not that important early game, it's just, you know, something I'd like to get built up anyway, for later on. Mm -hmm. That is true, but the, the trick is really to not put yourself in those situations to begin with. <laughs> Alright, and now what I think I'm going to do here is end off the parts. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go over to the approach practice range, the putting range, and perhaps play a little match game with putts as well. By the way, if you go over here, uh, they'll actually chat you over to this side here and ask you if you want to play around here. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> For now, I'm going to end off the part. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part. Oh yeah. Woo.